Hey guys, Nate from AT Board Sports. Just doing a quick tutorial on replacing your safety line on uh, pretty much any North control bar. In this case, it's a 2011 North Fifth Element bar. So the line we're going to be replacing is that uh, the center line that runs up through your chicken loop that, that allows you to flag out when you release your safety system. As you can see, it gets uh, worn out pretty bad uh, fairly quickly. So what you need to do this is an NLS replacement line. It's a custom made line that'll work on pretty much any North bar. You need a piece of string or rope, uh, some fabric tape, a utility knife, and a tape measure. So you're going to start by unwrapping your lines, uh, ideally neatly in a pile on the floor. And if you can, spread out your bar and the lines, uh, the leaders and the floats and uh, everything on a, a large table or large surface. If you have uh, an area on the floor, that'll work as well. You just want everything to be kind of neat and organized so that when you do remove this line, your other lines don't get tangled up. The first step in removing the safety line is going to be taking the safety line off of the leash attachment ring. So you do that by feeding the loop around the attachment ring itself. And once you do that, you're able to pull the line right through the center of the uh, ring. Once you've done that, you can pull the safety line through the center of the chicken loop from the top of the chicken loop. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to pull it through, but it will come through eventually. Once you have it out of the chicken loop, you can pull it through the center of the bar. And if this line is running through the cleat or the pulley, you can pull it through there. So now you can follow the safety line all the way up to where it connects to your flagging line. In this case, it's just three knots that allow this line to attach to that flag line, but some of them do have splices and loops. Um, you can always still use the, the three knots, and that's what we're going to be doing in this case. So take the flag line off, put it off to the side, and make sure that that doesn't get tangled up around any other lines. You can take your new NLS line, uh, just put it off to the side. We're going to measure the old safety line, and... Uh, measure from the, the tip of the loop all the way up to where the knot was. And what we want to do is make the new knot in the exact same spot as where the old knot was so that those lines will end up being the same length. In this case we have a stopper ball. Uh, some of them do have, most of them do have them here. Uh, some of them are bigger than others but uh, we're gonna make make sure we copy the lower knot uh, perfectly so when you're making that new knot, it might be a good idea to just leave that somewhat loose so that you can make any adjustments fairly easily when you go to tune the bar. So once you've removed that other stopper ball from the, uh, the old line, you're going to feed the line up through the stopper ball the same way it was on the old one. And once you've done that, you're going to do another knot above. So basically you're just copying exactly what your, your old line looked like uh, as closely as possible. So as you can see with these, these generic lines, there's quite a bit of extra line available to you. So you will cut that off eventually. I personally like to keep it long until you've done the tuning of your bar, and then you can cut it off to the length you want, uh, just in case. So what I do now is take the line, even with the slack or the extra line on it, take it up and reattach it to that, that outside flag line. You can, you can make that connection fairly tight, but again, maybe not too tight for now until you've uh, actually tuned the bar. So in this case, um, sometimes 
the safety line will run through uh, above your D power line through that pulley. Uh, in this case, I'm I'm going to do it, but uh, personally, I don't really like to. I just like to leave it outside of the pulley. Um, it's kind of personal preference. After that, you're going to run it down through the center of the bar, and then we have to run it through the chicken loop again. So this is where you're going to use that piece of string or the piece of rope that you have. You're going to want to run one end of that rope through the center of the chicken loop. And then take the other end of the rope and run it through the loop on the new safety line. Once you've done that, you're going to run that same end through the chicken loop so that you'll be able to pull that new line through. And once you've done that, you can start actually pulling the new line down through the chicken loop. It is a little bit difficult to get it through, so sometimes a pair of pliers helps. Just be very careful with it. Don't uh, don't pull too hard on it, but just kind of use them to uh, give you that extra leverage. And once it's through, that's pretty much it. We just have to reattach the leash attachment in the opposite way that we took it off. So you're going to put the loop through the center of the ring and then bring the loop up and around. And that's pretty much it. That's your new safety line on your uh, north control bar. Uh, what you will have to do now is tune the, the bar itself and um, kind of play around with those knots up at, up at the top. And then once you've done that, you can take the excess of the line and, uh, and trim it off. When you go to trim the line, it's a good idea to use that tape. Uh, just, just put a little bit of tape around it and then cut through the tape and that'll just keep the, the end of your line from fraying too much. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or problems, feel free to give us a call or an email. It's one 210 8892 info at atboardsports.com. And you can check us out at www.atboardsports.com. Thanks for watching.